Hey yo, what's good? It's Sparando, and in this video, we are going to be talking about Apple's brand new update, iOS 10.3, that is going to be coming to your devices in the next couple weeks. Now, something that you guys need to know about this is what I'm going to be talking about in this video, something that is crucial before you actually do update all your devices, whether it's an iPhone, iPad, iMac, iWatch, whatever the case may be. Before you guys update your stuff to 10.3, make sure you listen to me. And before we get into this video, make sure that you guys go into the description box below to purchase this merch. Click the link and then purchase it for my buddy Sean Valley. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So Apple's iOS 10.3 will be rolling out in the next couple weeks to the public. And something that you guys specifically need to know about this because if you don't do this, you are at stake of losing all of your information, meaning your photos, your videos that you have captured over the past one, two, three, five, ten years as an Apple user. It might be all gone, but I'm going to save your butt right now. So for me saving your butt, smash the like button because that's how we do it on Sparando. After 29 long years, Apple is finally updating in 10.3 that HFS Plus, 29-year-old monster, uh, and now it is simply called, very basic, the Apple file system. And basically what this is going to do is it is going to, whenever you guys say, oh, I have no memory left on my phone, I have no data, yada, yada, yada. This is going to optimize everything. It's going to make everything a little bit smaller, compress it a little bit, and you are going to never have that message again because with this new system, it is going to make everything, like I said, smaller, and instead of being like this, it's gonna be like this, and you're gonna have more room on your devices. But with that being said, there are some drawbacks to this. So as the viewer, I want you to think about this. In the last five weeks, six weeks, how many times have you backed up your device? I can guarantee you it's almost 99% zero because the fact of the matter is we are so busy as humans, we don't have the thought, we don't have the our first priority of saying, hey, we have to go back up our iPhone. Hey, we have to go back up our iPad. We have to back this up. No, that's not the case because we are always going here. We're always going there. We're always doing something. There's always something on our mind. And with that being said, we don't back up our devices that much. And basically what backing up your device, if you don't know what I'm even talking about, is basically backing up is saying, hey, okay, this is what's on my device. I'm going to save it, back it up. So if anything does happen to my device, I could simply go to that backup and restore everything that was on it. So it's great because if you have apps and you have music and you have contacts and all this good stuff, and let's just say that for whatever reason, you know who you are, where I was when I was doing this, but I, uh, I threw my phone into a pool. Don't ask why, I just did. Uh, it was a spur of the moment but I got a new phone and it's okay. So what happened was I did back my phone up. I did uh, back up my contacts, my music, my photos, everything. So what I'm trying to get at is if you have not backed up your device yet, you might want to do it very, very soon. Or in other words, before you update to iOS 10.3. And the reason is because since we are running on that 29 year old dinosaur, the HFS plus, and we are upgrading to the Apple file system, both of those systems you would think would be compatible but they're not. They're not compatible at all. So when it's transferring your information when you're updating from iOS 10.2.1 to iOS 10.3, it might lose some of your data. And if it loses your data, there's no way of getting it back. You can't go into your, your history and get it back and this, that, that. No, you can't do that. It's gone. Hasta luego. See you later. It's gone. And as a user every single day of the Apple devices, I don't want to see you guys lose your stuff. I don't want to lose my stuff, so I'm here to help you. I'm here to teach you how to back up your device, and if you don't know how to do it, this is how you do it. Make sure you have your Wi-Fi network turned on. Go to Settings, hit iCloud, then go to Backup, and make sure your backup for iCloud is checked off. It is on. It is good. Tap Backup now. Stay connected to your Wi-Fi network until the process completes. So you could actually update from your devices. You could update from your iPhone, your iPad, and you could update from these things right there. You don't have to go to a computer. So if you don't have a computer near you, that's okay. You could back up straight from your device. If you tap settings, go to iCloud, hit storage, and then manage storage, it should say that your phone was backed up at this date and this time. And then you should know that, hey, the backup went through, the backup process is complete. Now onto the second way, how to back up with iTunes, which I believe is the more reliable way, but you guys could do either one, either with iCloud or with iTunes. I know how to do it with iTunes, but I'm just gonna read it off this paper so I give you guys the exact 100% information that is correct. Step number one, open up iTunes and connect your device to the computer. 
Step number two, select your iPhone, iPad, or iPod when it appears in iTunes. If you guys still have an iPod, I bless you. I say congratulations because I have not seen one of them in a very long time. So basically all you have to do, like I said right there, all you have to do, open up iTunes, make sure your device is connected, hit backup now. If you want to connect your health and activity data from your device to your computer, you have to encrypt it and make a password that you are going to remember. So it's very simple, it's very easy. It only takes really, depending on how old your device is, it should only take a couple minutes to do. Uh, and if you guys have a couple minutes, it might save your butt in the long run because when you do update to iOS 10.3, you won't lose any of your contacts or photos, anything. So if you guys enjoyed this video and this was helpful, you know what to do. Smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, join the family if you did not yet. And until the next video, you know how we do it. Spread out!